We start with a point. Hi, everybody, and here we are again, Rob Bryanson with the Imagining the Tenth Dimension video blog. Today's entry is called Just Six Things, and the image we're looking at behind me comes from Wikipedia. It's depicting the concept of the six degrees of separation. What if there were only six vectors needed to describe every aspect of our universe in its current state, and every possible version of our universe from its very beginning to its ultimate end? Last month in Three Becomes One, we returned to the idea that all six dimensions become a point, indicating a position within the multiverse landscape in the seventh dimension and above with my approach to visualizing the extra dimensions. And that's why the fine structure constant and basic physical laws stay locked in and unchanging for our particular universe. Last entry in RB's more sixth dimensional, we took a look at a variety of ideas related to six-sided shapes, six dimensions, and the mind-blowing theory that honeybees are using six-dimensional geometry to communicate the positions of new food sources to each other. Six has been an important number to this project since its inception. In fact, back in 2006, I bought the domain name JustSixThings.com because I was thinking that might be a good name for my next book. I also bought Just Six Things with the numeral six and SixThings.ca because they were available and seemed like possibly useful variations. SixThings.com was already taken though, and that's the new website that I'd like to talk about in today's entry. The six degrees of separation concept is interesting in the way it ties into our discussions of connectedness and the nature of reality, but it has other uses as well. Many different projects have found ways to use this idea as their launching pad. For instance, SixDegrees.com was an early social networking site that ran from 1997 to 2001, and at the peak of its popularity, it had one million registered users. Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon is a trivia game that suggests no matter what actor you name, you should be able to use six steps or less to find a connection to Kevin Bacon. In 2007, Kevin Bacon started a charitable giving site called SixDegrees.org to show how this concept can be used to make people's lives better. So let's look at the logo for SixThings.com. You'll see that the slogan here is recursive as you go round and round the circle. Six things you like from the six things you like from the... and so on. SixThings.com is a relevance engine. Here's what they say about the project from a recent press release. Six things you like in six minutes every day. Six Things is a relevance engine that is a perfect solution for information overload without losing time. SixThings.com is a non-linear innovation in that it provides six things you like from over six million things, eliminates the need to maintain yet another account, improves signal-to-noise ratio by deducing your micro-interests, reduces wasted time by kicking you off in six minutes. Even if the user did not share enough content, no worries. Simply press on one of the six buttons up on top that captures your interest. Passively discover curators with similar taste without actively searching for them. Our algorithm computes the taste distance between you and others based on micro-interests. Passively consume real-time content that is your current object of attention without actively searching the over six million things. Our machine learning algorithm extracts your micro-interests from your shared content. You don't have to remember yet another password or have to sign up. The product can be accessed from www.sixthings.com. Now here's three Twitter feeds for you. Six Things, the project's feeds, Vasurini, uh, the creator of the project, and Sam Dita, co-creator and designer. I've not heard the term relevance engine before, but I do like the concept. StumbleUpon, for instance, could be thought of as a user-driven relevance engine, and that service continues to be one of the most popular ways for people to find my 11-minute animation about the 10 dimensions. Likewise, I've talked a number of times about Web 3.0 pioneer Nova Spivak and his brainchildtwine.com, which uses a combination of user recommendations and the semantic web to filter out the signal from the noise for people trying to deal with the stream. The stream is what Mr. Spivak calls the oncoming deluge of information we're all having to deal with more and more each day. In the early months of this blog, back in 2007, I was using the phrase conceptual framing a lot, which relates to these discussions. We tend to think in frames. We don't do so well imagining an atom and a galaxy at the same time. 
but if we take ideas one step at a time, one frame of reference connected to the next, we find it easier to process. Will SixThings.com achieve its goal of providing relevant new links in an extremely timely manner? The project is just in beta right now, but it seems like a great idea, and I look forward to watching them grow. Now here are six other past blogs where I've talked about the Just Six Things concept and the importance of the number six. Just Six Things, the I Ching. E8 in the semantic web. What's around the corner. The statistical universe. Alien mathematics. And time in three dimensions. That's all for now. Next entry is going to be called Love and Gravity. My name is Rob Bryanton. Enjoy the journey.